Okay, welcome to another Blender exercise. We're looking at Grease Pencil this time, so we're going to use the 2D animation um, template. So we're inside of uh, the Grease Pencil 2D animation template, and uh, we're going to turn up our strength, and we're going to take off pressure sensitivity, we're going to make the stroke a bit bigger. What we're going to be exploring in this session is the uh, depth of field effect. So just to add a bit of depth to our animations or our renders. Okay, so we're going to um, we're going to create a um, an effect that's going to look good in an animation. So we're just going to quickly um, draw uh, something that's like a uh, symbolic. Uh, sort of tree, just something very, um, something like this. Okay, we're going to do that. We'll do that. I'll put some apples in there. Okay, that looks nice. Okay, so um, we've got a very strange looking tree, but that will do for our effect. So uh, the tree is already in a collection. Uh, which is really good, uh, which is here in the scene uh, collection here. And uh, with that selected, I'm just going to apply the effect that I'm talking about, which is uh, blur and use depth of field. Okay, so that's done. So our grease pencil object is done. Um, and uh, what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to uh, press uh, I'm going to make this into object mode and I'm going to add and right down here collection instance I've got a collection and that represents the one that I've already got created but let's make it a bit more obvious let's call this tree enter and uh, so let's go to add again collection instance there's tree and we've got another one now I'm going to go so we're looking down and I'm just going to move uh, this tree around here and I'm going to press shift D and I need to add a bunch of trees so shift D let's put one just about here shift D put one here shift D put one nice and close to the camera shift D let's get one off in the distance something like that Okay, so there's our trees. Now I'm going to go to um, the camera view. Okay, so there's our, our camera view. And uh, let's get our information up by pressing N. And, um, and uh, let's change uh, the camera position by choosing camera to view. There we go, something like that. Okay, now we're not getting any blur yet, but if we um, go to the camera in the scene, uh, scene, um, scene collection, uh, what we can do is um, in the camera properties, we can uh, check depth of field. So we can click on this. And um, for in this instance, what I'm going to do is select the very first tree. So the tree that's going to be in focus is going to be the one that's in the center of our scene. So I'm going to select that one. And uh, then I can control the f-stop. So if I increase, if I decrease that, nothing's happening. And the reason for that is we need to be in rendered view. Okay, so now you can see that the tree that's in focus is the one that's original right in the center of the document but as the trees get further away or closer to us they get more blurred and we can control that f-stop effect okay so that we can create uh, an animation um, with that um, so uh, you know this this create um, a little animation let's change uh, let's change the length of this animation. It's currently 250 frames. Let's make it 100 frames. So let's press enter. And uh, let's open up the timeline. So um, let's get the timeline options here. Timeline. And um, 
So we've got automatic keying on and we're going to animate the camera. So um, I am going to uh, change um, the rotation here. So um, let's go from this position to um, well, about halfway, 50, frame 50. And that's, um, let's just change the angle just a little bit like that. So that's added frames. And now I'm going to go to the very end, maybe 101. And, uh, and what that will do is create a nice sort of loop in our animation. So I'm going to select the first frames, press Control C, Control V. And uh, now what we should see happening is just a slight um, change of angle, which would be really nice. So I'm going to press space and we can see there's, there's the animation. Okay, using the blur, the focal length blur effect, which is great. Right, so we have this animation. Uh, so let's render it out, okay? And to render an animation, all you need to do is go to this printer icon in the properties, which is our render options. We need to uh, choose uh, a place uh, to save it. So I'm gonna go to my Blender folder and I'm gonna go to my Instagram and um, renders, uh, I'm going to double click, accept, and now we've got um, the right location. I'm going to choose um, a name for it, so I'm just going to type apple tree. Okay, so there's something a bit different. It's going to add file extensions. now. I've got the choice to render out stills or animations, so I'm going to change this from PNG to FFmpeg video, and I'm going to change the encoder to MP4. Okay, that's all I need to do. And uh, to render out this animation, all you have to do is click on Render, Render Animation, and it's going to show you its progress. So it's going to show you. Um, what it's doing uh, is rendering out each frame and then combining them together into a video. So it shouldn't take too long to do a hundred frames. Now, um, Grease Pencil does create um, files which are really uh, quite small, which is another advantage. Okay, it might might have been good to have. Uh, like some sort of ground plane in this animation because at the moment it looks like we've got these crazy floating trees but you'll get the idea so that is now done and I'm going to find the video um, and I will bring it onto the screen so you can see it so it's in my renders okay so this is my renders folder and there's apple tree let's open that up and let's bring that onto the screen here it is and there is the animation really nice quality we've got the blurs going on and this is similar to an effect that i put on instagram so um, another animation rendering animation and uh and getting this blur, um, focal length blur effect going on. Thanks for watching.